pack a bag as we show you another travel destination on Long Island. Welcome to Harbor Woods Guest House in Sag Harbor. We built this house for ourselves seven years ago. My husband, is, this is what he does for a living, design, build. And we have three boys. Four years ago, they all were out of the house in college. My husband said, let's, let's do a B&B. &B. And here we are, and I'm so happy we did this because I really love what I do, and I think it shows. I'm seasonal because people when they come in, 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 in during the off season, they kind of want to be maybe in the middle of town somewhere it's easy to go to restaurants. And so I close in uh, Thanksgiving, I close and then I open up April 1st again. You can walk in to the Sag Harbor if you want to take your 15 minutes. A lot of my European guests do that. Uh, or you drive in by car in a minute, but you, you're tucked away here and you, you feel like you're quiet. And I think in this stressful life that we all live, it's kind of nice to come to a place like this that are tucked away. I have four bedrooms and uh, uh, three of them are queen size room and one is king size. And I have two cottages, which has also king size beds. If uh, people have younger children, I said you can book the, the cottages. So uh, I have four bedrooms up here and they are all named after beaches. Meacox, Flying Point, Gibson, and then Cameron. Three of my rooms are queen size rooms. Yes, I feel like the rooms have a harmony. It's peace and quiet and that's what I wanted to create. I like to put, put fresh flowers in the rooms for the guests. It's kind of a nice little touch. The flying point is the king size bedroom. So this is a little bigger than the other ones. And also this is nice. You can actually sleep uh, three people like the family I had from the Netherlands this past week. They, they slept in here. I can turn that into a full size bed. And here we have Cameron, another queen size bedroom. I'll be going into Gibson, my favorite beach. And it's also an orange room. So that's, I kind of like that. <laughs> this one in Meacox is the brightest rooms. And, and it's just, it's just nice. My husband is a really good designer, I have to say. It's just so lovely to come downstairs and the candles and the fire is lit. And it's just give you like, oh. And I have to say, I like this better. I thought I was very concerned in the beginning, but I kind of, because you still have the nice view when you come down the stairs. This is where you have breakfast in the morning. And of course, when the weather provides, you can also sit outside. Yeah, this is great. I have so many tables where people can sit outside here and have breakfast in them. You know, or yes, when they come home after, at the, from the beach, they come, come out here and sit and enjoy a glass of wine and, and look at that beautiful garden I have. And of course, when everything is in bloom here in the summertime, it's great. Now we're going to the cottage. It's another little cottage that I have on, for the guests to stay in. So this is the cottage. Nice, I mean, they look out in the garden and this is the only place that I have television for, my, for the guests, is in the cottages. This is the, the bedroom and that's as a king size bed. Yeah, I can put another bed in here, so we can actually stay four people in this room. That is the studio and that can uh, sleep uh, five people. I have nice sheets and towels and I try to keep it simple but nice and people should feel like they're pampered. Upstairs is the king size bed and you feel like you're sleeping in a tree house. <laughs> well, thank you for visiting me at Harborwoods Guest House. Go to my website, harborwoodsguesthouse.com and come down and visit me and I will serve up some Swedish pancakes with lingonberries and whipped cream and you would not get disappointed. So come on down. <laughs>